Okay, everyone, so today I'm gonna to work on short chip and run shots, okay? Something I've been asked by someone to cover. Um, I've got three clubs here. I've got an eight iron, I've got a pitching wedge, and I've got my lob wedge, my 58 degree wedge. And when we're looking at playing short chip shots, we're looking generally just on the fringe of the green. What you have to look at is you've got to look at the situation. How much green have you got to play with? How close is the flag to, to the ball as it currently stands? You've got to weigh up all these options before you make a decision on what club you're going to use. But generally, the, the way that we play it is very, very similar throughout, okay? So I'm going to start with my eight iron. One thing that you may or may not have noticed is that I've actually taken my glove off. Um, that's something that I tend to do with shorter chip shots, okay? Uh, it might be something that you might just want to experiment with yourself. Just I just feel it tends to give us a little bit more feel. Um, very simple, okay? We're gonna position the ball pretty pretty much in the middle of the feet, okay? The feet are gonna be close together because what that does is it stops us getting the legs too, too involved in this shot. And then if we think about the weight being 50-50, all I want to do is I want to slightly lean into that front foot, okay? So my sternum goes slightly forward. I just feel that slight weight moving into that front foot. And then from there, I like to think about this shot as just basically a putt with loft, all right? That's all we're doing. We don't want to get any wrist action involved in this shot at all, okay? So very simple, ball centered, lean to the front foot, and then just rock the shoulders. Now, obviously the eight iron, because of the, the less loft on this club against, say, my lob wedge, that's gonna come out quite low, and it's obviously gonna run quite a lot. So I would think about that as maybe a sort of 20% carry in the ball flight with an 80% roll. And we're probably almost gonna go completely the opposite when we go to a lob wedge. The setup really isn't gonna change, okay? We're gonna keep that ball in the middle of the stance. We're gonna keep those feet nice and close together. We're gonna to have that slight lean again, but because of the loft, the ball's gonna pop up a little bit more. But again, no wrist action, please, in this shot, okay? So very simple, and the ball comes out, out higher and softer because of the loft on the golf club. Just a really good tip that you might want to try if you're really struggling with this shot is just try to feel that you put your hands up a little bit more so you stick the toe of the club down in the ground a little bit, little bit, okay? Makes it very difficult to hit the ball heavy if you do that, okay? It's putting that club more upright, almost like a putter. And maybe just try with your putting grip as well, all right? Because we're trying to take the wrist action out of it. If we go nice and high with those hands and then just make the, the putting stroke that can work really well too, okay? So nice nice short shot, same setup, little bit of lean, up with my putter, okay, nice high wrists, and then I can play that shot. If you stick the, stick the toe in the ground and the heel off the ground a little bit, you'll find it really really difficult to hit that ball heavy. So maybe do a little bit, little bit of experimenting with, like, with that. When you're working on this shot, really try and visualize where you're trying to land the ball, okay? You're not looking particularly for the end result, okay? Really focus on where you want that ball to pitch. Try and visualize how much it's gonna run out and you're gonna have a lot of success trying to, uh, trying to practice that, okay? So guys, enjoy working on it. Um, as always, stay safe, we'll see you next time.